Uh, good morning once again. Uh, I'm very happy before God uh, who gave us this precious time to share our heart and also share the heart of God, which God has given us uh, today morning. Uh, let us open the Bible, 1 King chapter 17. Today we shall read 1 King chapter 17 from verse 12. So she said, as the Lord your God live, I do not have a bread, only a handful of a flour in a bean and a little oil in a jar. And see, I'm gathering a couple of stick that I may go in and prepare it for myself and for my son that we may eat and die. And Elijah said to her, do not fear, go and do as you have said, but make me a small cake from it first and bring it to me. And afterward, make some for yourself and your son. For thus say the Lord God of Israel, the bean of flour shall not be used up, nor, sh nor shall the jar of oil run dry until the day the Lord sent rain on the earth. Uh, today in the morning, uh, I'm very happy uh, who gave us this uh, precious time to share the heart of God with our brothers and sisters. Uh, really, uh, when I was reading in the morning and 17, chapter 17, really this word of God was so thankful in my heart. Of course, uh, several times we listen uh, this story about the Sarabak widows. Is that right? I think some of you may feel that, ah, pastor, I'm tired of this story. And actually, today in the morning, I discovered that I was searching the Pastor Hang message, and I realized for the last 10 years, he was preaching on Sunday these scriptures 10 times. It means that at least once a year, he preaching during the Sunday service. And it means that what about other service, other uh, service, or uh, really several times he was preaching about this word of God. It means that really also this story is strongly remaining in the heart of servant of God. And I believe that also God want to say, God want to teach us clearly with this word of God. So for me, I believe that uh, brothers and sisters, while we are sharing the heart of God from this word of God, and also this word of God can give us clear heart of God today. Though some of our brothers and sisters didn't join the morning, but uh, really I believe that this word of God can give us grace in our heart. Uh, really, we, I was asking in the morning to our brothers and sisters, I, after I was reading this, this word, verse 12, what the verse 12, is that what we do say? She said that as the Lord your God lives, I do not have a bread, only a handful of flour in a bean, a little oil in a jar. And see, I'm gathering a couple of sticks that I may go in and prepare it for myself and my son that we may eat and die. So I was asking our brethren, have you ever listened to this word? Um, so brothers, they are start thinking, where they listen this word? So I was asking, we, have you ever listened this word many times? So they're asking, they're checking where they listen this word. And while they're thinking, and I was asking, I, I, I told them, you are the one who used to say like this several times. Is it right? Yes, it is a true. I'm the one also who used to say like this Zarba widow. And also you are the one who used to say like Zarba widow. Is it right? Really, I can say that how is our heart? Really, our heart always, we used to say like this Zarba widow. We don't have this. I do not have a bread. I have only handful of flour in a bean, only a little oil in the jar. And you see, we just gather in the stick to prepare and we eat and we die. Really our situation is oh, life to die. 
Yes, really, we are the one who used to say several times. Is it right? Yes, we are the one who used to say several times the situation. Yes, really, we used to say with the situation, we don't have a this, we don't have a this, we have only this, only this hmm? small. That's why several times with our heart, we fail to participate in the work of gospel. We fail to join with the church, with the servant of God. And we used to see live like this. Really, I say that this is a song of despair. This is this the way how Zarba widow she say that is like a song of despair, song of sorrow. Is it right? And that is a song of Zarba widow. That is what Zarba widow sing. Really, I can say, I can confess before God. Yes, I'm the one who used to live like this Sarba Buddha. Always in my mouth. Also, we don't have this. This is a problem. This brother is a problem. This sister is a problem. Uganda is a problem. Our church is a problem. Myself is a problem. Always, always. It was a problem in my own eyes. But what about when you look at the way how Elijah said? You see, verse 13, Elijah said to her, Do not fear, go and do as you have said, but make me a small cake from it first and bring it to me. Afterward, make some for yourself and your son. The bean of flour shall not be used up, nor shall a jar of oil run dry, until the day the Lord sent rain on the earth. Hallelujah. How he was able to say like this. Really, I can say that in the heart of servant of God, in the mouth of servant of God, Always, always speaking for the sing of hope, song of hope, song of faith, song of joy, song of hope. Amen. Really, I can see in the heart of servant of God, in the heart of, in the in the mouth of servant of God, there is a song of joy, song of faith, song of hope, song of happy. Hallelujah. What is the difference? Really, in the eyes of Sarva widow, only there is, only there is, in her eyes, only there was situation. Only there was small, Bean of flour and jar of oil. That is what she see, and that is what she used to believe. She had a hope on it. Is it right? Yes, of course, she knew God. She believed in God. But in the heart of Zarba widow, there is only she was focusing, she was a trusting, she was a relying on bean of flour and jar of oil only and when this thing is finished and you can see the whole her heart collapse but what about what is different in the eyes of Elijah in the eyes of servant of God even though he saw the situation but in the eyes of servant of God there was God amen yes in his eyes there was God even though her situation is difficult, poor, miserable. But what about our God? He cannot feel that small bean of flour. In the sight of God, is it so difficult? Right or not, brothers and sisters? That God who created the heaven and the earth, that God who created you, that God who created all this world for him, to feel the bean of flour, 
Is it so difficult? No. That if God is working, then God's possible. Because God said that that widow will provide me, then he has a power to do it. So really, you can see that in the heart of servant of God, there was God, and he was able to sing. You know, your bean of flour shall not be used up. Your jar of oil shall not dry. Hallelujah. Elijah sing the song of faith, song of joy, song of happiness, song of hope. Hallelujah. Why? In his heart, in his eyes, connect with who? With God. Amen. What about even your heart? Your heart is connect with your thoughts or connect with the heart of God. For me, really, I can see, yes, I'm the one who used to sing like Jarva Widow. I'm the one who only focus this bean of flour and jar of oil only like Jarva Widow. I'm the one who used to trust only this situation. But really, I can see the Elijah. God sent Elijah to Jarabah widow, whose heart is connected with the heart of God, who always sing the song of hope, song of faith. That servant of God give us new hope. Amen. Really, I remember 2017. When we are preparing the world camp, I was passing so many challenges and problems. But really, I can see that that is the way how I used to see. I only look at the situation. Yes, though God was working, but in my eyes, the problem was big. And I said to Pastor Pa, really, I complained before God. And do you know what he said, Brother Kim? Don't worry. God is be with you and God will work for you. Yet he doesn't know our situation. Yet he doesn't know how things are going on in Uganda. But really, I can say, see that Pastor Pa, Really, his heart is connected with the heart of God. He told me, Brother Kim, don't worry. God is be with you and God will work for you. Really, I can see he sing the song of faith and song of joy, song of hope. But for me always, I sing song of despair, song of worry, fear. I'm so happy. This Sarva widow who used to think like this, who's supposed to die, God sent servant of God. Amen. And finally, she did the way how servant of God guide. Amen. Is it right? So you see verse 15. So she went away and did according to the word of Elijah. And she and he and her household ate for many days. Amen. Brother, how is so beautiful. I was so beautiful this Sarva widow. Though she used to believe her own fixed mind, but before the word of servant of God, she break her heart and just follow. I'm so happy that servant of God is be with us. Amen. For me also, when I'm living in Uganda, I saw in the heart of the people. Some people, even though they say they receive salvation, they are coming for our Sunday service, but some in the heart of brothers and sisters, there is no servant. Some people, they say, I have a Holy Spirit. I can read the Bible and I have a Holy Spirit. I can pray before God and God guide me. Yes, brothers and sisters, yes, you have a Holy Spirit. But God also give us servant of God in our heart and also God give us church. Amen. Also, Jesus Christ say to Peter, feed my sheep. Is it true? Why we need a shepherd? Why we need the servant of God. Yes, even Zarba widow, she knew God. She believed in God. Is it true? Yes. But really we can see that we are the one who used to follow our own fixed mind, our own eyes, and live with my fear and worry. That's why really we need servant of God in our life. The way how this Elijah worked in the life of Zarba widow. I, for me, I'm very happy that God has given us a true church and God has given us the true servant of God. Really, brother, what we are learning in the church, even though it looks like easy and many times we listen to the same things, but really it is so, so different. And really this is a high level of realization 
in our spiritual life. Really, I'm very happy. Really, we have a servant of God always breaking our heart because I can look at my heart always. I look at the situation. I believe my thought, but there is a church. There is a servant of God who break my heart and who make my heart to come up from my own fixed eyes and looking onto Jesus and to have a hope in God and to have a faith in God and take a step by faith and to see how God is working in Uganda. I hope that also all brothers and sisters, please, you need a servant of God in your life. And also the way how Zarba widow, she changed her heart and we learn from Zarba widows and also we put down my own thought and receive and really and live by faith and also seeing the song of faith and song of uh, Elijah so that God may work properly in your life. And I hope that also I want to hear the testimony from you, from our brothers and sisters, and how you are able to receive the word of God and have a faith in God and take a step by faith and also how God is working in your life. I'm very happy before God uh, who gave us this precious time. Thank you so much. We finish here. Thank you.